guys welcome back to the channel the arch crafter and today i have got peter rabbit patchwork quilt issue three so we're going to start off look through the magazine and see what there is to do next these patches of fabric we'll find out what to do with those so we have Jemima Puddle Duck uh, so this is going to be the next character square um, Doing the same as we did before, cutting out from the bonder web, ironing on, cutting out pieces, and yeah, it goes through all the instructions and where to place Jemima, and then how to finish it off and the flowers in the corner and next it goes on to a jewellery pouch how to make a jewellery pouch it goes through all the instructions step by step and then next it's the story of Tom Kitten yeah the story about Tom Kitten and how he was created, that character. And then it goes into Victorian Crazy Patchwork. Wow. That's wow. That is gorgeous, but that would take a long, long time to do. goes on to feeding the fad and that lady's long dress or house coat and then we have the templates for Jemima Puddle Duck and what to do next so that is the next character patch um, I need to go back and look in issue two because it did say about the patchwork patch so I'm just going to go have a look at that and uh, yeah so I shall be back shortly right guys I'm back so issue two yes I've had to go back a step because when I was looking through the magazine I didn't realize it was kind of a double so issue two is in fact doing the double four patch but also finishing off your Peter Rabbit patchwork square so how Harchette have done it is obviously issue one was starting Peter Rabbit and doing the bonder web and cutting all the pieces out the following issue is the patchwork patch but also finishing off the character square that you'd already started in the previous issue so I think that's how Harchette are going to do it so I need to put issue three back away and yeah continue with issue two and doing the double bar patch so like I said I need to put that away so before I move on I will just show you Peter Rabbit I have finished him now I have done the whiskers I did them just before I started filming this so that is the Peter Rabbit patch finished 
so we need to look into the instructions for this double far patch so we had all the fabric and everything last time and um don't think we're going to need the wonderweb or any of the previous character fabric because it's far patch so you can see the flowery material pink from before stored these away i kept them obviously um, so it says three pieces of fabric so we have the pink floral that's that there then we have the ivory sprig some more flowers and then we have the silver spot so these are the fabrics that are going to make up this patch let's move these we'll have a look at what needs to be done so you need the templates from before which i have got here so we've got the bigger and then the smaller and then it just shows you there on the other side of how they're going to be laid out and yeah what to do with those so I've had to add some items to my tin. Um, I've got, uh, I found out some uh, pins, um, some fabric or so, uh, dressmaking pins. Um, I've got some, yeah, some dressmaking pins. I have. Did I do with them there they are some um snippers so um yeah I have those right I'm back <laughs> husband just needed something um so yeah like I said I showed you those how they snippers just um that i use to cut th the thread but i do have my other scissors as well they're a bit um yeah so i might have to find some better scissors for uh cutting i do have my other my other blue scissors so but yeah um but we do have the rotary cutter as well don't we so let's have a look so it says about cutting your fabric um, prepare templates A and B follow following the instructions from your template 2 of the back of the magazine referring to the cutting guide for positioning pin template A to the pink floral fabric and then you cut the patch out So yeah, you don't cut it up to the dotted line. You've got to have the uh, seam allowance because um, that's going to be the size of the patch when you've finished sewing it and doing it and whatever. But you need to, when you origin initially cut it, you need to allow for the seam. So that will be that so what i need to do is i need to i think probably 
transfer these onto some card um, found some uh, old packaging some old card um, which I can cut these out of so I'm supposed to copy this card this onto thin card to make your template or store these after use for further patchwork alternatively photocopy onto paper and then stick to thin card cut around the solid line for the template using the grid line markings but the arrows help to place the template on the straight grain of the fabric so I think I'm going to possibly leave these on here because then I might be able to use the fabric pencils and a ruler might be easier to see don't know whether the fabric's going to be see-through or not but what I'm going to have a do have a go is I'm going to lay a piece of the pink fabric pin it and then see if I can cut it that way so I'm gonna have a go at that and I shall be back and see if yeah whether that's gonna work or whether I'm gonna to have to actually cut it out of cardboard or but yeah I'm gonna have an experiment and yeah I shall be back shortly right guys i just left the patches on the paper and used the fabric crayon i got i found these um on amazon so uh yeah but i have marked the squares out um i marked on the edge there then across to the far corner and then down to the other edge here so you can just see the far corners there so that's the I've done it all on the same you can't really tell on the uh, blue fabric where well, you can kind of see the little blue marks but it's just done with the blue crayon and then with this one I put it down in the bottom corner so I've got a mark on the fabric at the edge there and then this is the corner so I've got to cut them out now I've got two of these um, so yeah I have to um, get out the uh, rotary cutter and the cutting square so I shall do that next and I shall be back with you shortly right I'm just coming to cut in the last bit and I have all the patches now so I've got four of the grey, four of the flower and then the two big ones so let's close that up so that to the side and then these bits of fabric so what I need to do now is I need to lay it out like it shows in the magazine and then I can pin it so we have 
this patch the top and copying again. So that is those two patches. I want to lay flat. So that's those. And I need two and two. So I want in there. One there, and one there. Hold up. And one here, one here. When that is sewn, that is what the patch is hopefully going to look like. It looks a bit winky wanky, but uh, yeah, but. yeah so that's what that is going to look like and it says patching the small squares together so that is the next instruction so start at the top left of the design pin two small squares B in different fabrics right side together and corners neatly aligned so at the top left so I want these two together let me get the pins ready Few pins out, so to align the squares together, right side to right side. Then pin. Them together then Oops. that's gone monkey now. Lining them up. It's gone a bit. As long as this top, the top seams are together. It keeps moving. So I need to do the same again. Side to right side. Then pin them 
check out that. So that's them pinned together as well. Um, Um, again, right side to right side. This one last. I shall be hand sewing these. Um, I was watching another YouTuber a um, couple of weeks back. Um, Lynn Yvonne's 2 here on YouTube and she was doing this exact stage and she was showing us the hand stitching um, there's some instructions in the magazine but when I was watching her I just I got it straight away um, you know rather than doing the long stitches you do smaller more smaller stitches um, so then that they won't pull apart but it's a great video to watch go over and watch uh, Lynn Yvonne's two issue two of this patchwork quilt um, if you are doing it as well it's a, a great tutorial and yeah she talks you right through it and but like I said there is instructions in the magazine but if like me you're a visual learner um I prefer to see things done um so yeah I'm a I'm a visual learner so um that's a great a great video to watch um but anyway getting back to this I've realised I have missed a step out. So I need to do the seam allowance. And I haven't drawn that on. So from the template, it says, does it say? Use a pencil and ruler to mark a 6mm seam allowance on each one as indicated on the template. So it's a 6mm. Um, does it have it on the square? Mm. No. It doesn't. I need a ruler. So we have millimetres, so it's six. So is it the this one in? Six, yeah. Six. Six. Three. How do we know that one's going to be? Oops. 
sixty millimeter. Same beginning. Six. It's going to go right on where the pin is. Ugh. Just want to mark the seam. to fiddle with this. Whoops, get scale. Ah. Right. Six again. Again, <clears throat> All the way around. Yeah, that's marked the six. All the way around, and I'll do the rest after but I just want to get this one started uh, pin me to make a quilter's knot in the white thread and begin your line of stitches outside the seam allowance so they've done it right on the seam allowance Back stitch along the seam allowance, removing the pins as you go and secure by over sewing the final stitch. Oh, begin your stitch on the outside, right? Okay. 
so I need to get some of the white thread on the card the needle I've got my threader which I had from um, a starter sewing kit um, that's where these uh, pins came from as well and it came with a whole starter sewing kit um, so yeah let's get uh, threaded hang on bit so whoopsie I think they've doubled over red from looking at it yes I think they've doubled the thread let's get a needle it's one of these tiny tiny pilot so thread that through pull it through and I think it's a bead doubled over the thread Knot it, it doesn't say to knot it. No. So then to chain twine comes back up. So, lining these up, going just above, like it says. Ouch. Got myself up into them. So I'm remembering watching that video. We've got to work in smaller stitches when you hand stitch so probably cringing at me thinking what is she doing like I've said guys my first time doing anything like this so I'm just trying and doing and yeah giving it a go trying not to stop myself in the meantime just lurking along this patch and trying to get this seam as neat as I can but yeah, really 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 concentrating to get the 
this first patch done. Let's look at the sink. Trying and concentrating. Right, so I'm going to finish sewing along this edge and I'll be right back. Right, so I'm back. Let's take that pin out and let's have a look at the first. Yeah, so that's pretty strong. I'm really, really pleased with that. Yeah really really pleased with that right so what i'm going to do now guys is i'm going to do these four remaining patches and you can't see yeah these four remaining patches and then i shall be back so i'll do that and i'll get back to you whoa no Right guys, I'm back. I have done the stitching of the four small patches. So let's move these pink ones out of the way. So I've got these four now, which I have hand sewn together. I've hand sewn them and uh yeah they're ready now to be pressed so let's have a look at the instructions i've got my new iron all set up i am in fact waiting for a little desk top ironing board but um yeah that's due sometime this week because i'm filming this bit of peter rabbit on monday on bank holiday monday so i hope you guys have or are having a great easter um so let's have a look um press the stitched square flat with a hot iron to neaten the sewn edge which may have puckered a little from the stitching so it shows that one and we've ironed it flat that way so that's the first time i'm using this iron so let's that one that's going to this one <coughs> that's that one and this one that one and now this one Uh, that's that one ironed so let me unplug the 
iron because I don't need that for right now. So I've ironed all of those, I think. And it says making up the patched squares. Lay the top pair carefully over the lower pair so the right sides are facing and the seams align. Pin at the centre first making the seam line and then pin the corners. So it shows up at the top here like that and like that and like that. So I need to get my tin with the pins. The pins up here. Sorry about the crinkling. So it says, lay the top pair carefully over the lower pair. So like that. Pin at the centre first. Pin at the centre first, which is that matching the seam line and then pin the corners. So I've got to pin both edges and the other Do the same with the other, do the same again. Do the centre. Pin the first. Then the edges.
Right, I'm back. So I have sewn these edges now. So what does it say to do? So yeah, open out and check the small squares align neatly to each other at the centre. If so, press the seam to one side as before. Either side works this time. If not, unpick and try again. No, <laughs> they don't, but <laughs> that one kind of, yeah, that one kind of does, so uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm happy with those, it's my uh, first patch, so let's plug the iron back in. Then we can so the seam down. So it says either way this time it doesn't really matter if we iron to get up to temperature. There we go, then it clicks. Let's see, let's see, let me all out. There we go, that's that one. All done and pressed. This one, get some thread off. Seams down flat. There we go. Right. Can unplug the iron. There we go. So that's those patches seamed and ironed. Once your small squares fit together neatly and you've pressed the seams, turn your work the right way up, your patchwork square will look like this. Which they do, I think. So, next. Completing the block. Take one of the patchwork squares and place it on top of a pink floral square, right sides together with the right edge aligned as shown above. So, take one of these and you have to align it with one of these pink ones. It doesn't want to wear flat on that corner. So, to align it up what's that one so I need my pins back.
so what does it say? Um, you've got to do it again, the centre and the edges. So just like before. The other edge as well. So that's one. And then we're going to do it again. So lining it all up. Some pins out ready this time. I'm struggling. <laughs> so, that's that one. That's this one. One of them. Yep. Right. So that's lined up with that. That's lined up with that. Right. Um. Right, sew together at the top, then repeat to join the remaining square. This time align the left side edge. Okay. Actually, we can sit on the top and that's got to be in the shape. I'm a little bit confused by that instruction. Sew it together at the top, then repeat to join the remaining squares. This time align the left side edge. Sounds to me like they've gone down a step, gone back a step. I am so confused. Sounds like rather it looks like rather than the far together they've done it like half and half. According to this, they've got like half a fold the top corners together and pin along the seam, then position a pin either side of the centre pin in the centre of each square. I am so confused. I'm sorry if you can hear slamming about. It's my husband and the eldest downstairs. I don't know what they're doing. I do apologise. It doesn't show that. Though. 
I'm so confused. Sew together at the top, then repeat to join the remaining squares. This time align the left hand edge. Don't know. Because it looks like they've kept it in the halves. And then sewn that onto the top. I don't know. I'm really confused. Let me have a look, have a read. I'll I'll be back with you. Right. I figured it out. I was jumping ahead and confusing myself. So these two top bits here are for you know when you put the four patches onto one of the pink and then you seam it open so this is now you have two strips so you've done both of these squares that's what that means and then you then have to put those two patches together to make the four and then you can iron it all out so i was jumping ahead i was confusing myself so I'm going to get these two patches sewn together then I'll be back and we'll uh, iron it out and then we'll put all four together and then I'll come back and we'll iron it again and so yeah it was me jumping ahead I was getting all confused so let me sew these together and I shall be back with you soon right guys i'm back so i have sewn whoops just put that needle up to the side so i don't lose it i've sewn the top of this one and the top of this one so we need to iron it now so let's plug in the iron let it warm up and then We'll do this one first, so open it up. It's kind of kind of <laughs> it's yeah, just a little bit off, but um yeah, let's cut these pins and things needles and yeah to the side and then we can iron this open let's whoopsie that's that so that's that one open this one wow oh no that one is way off oops i might have done all the square square aren't they yeah well it's all learning isn't it? Like that. If I need to add a bit to that this uh, this patch, then I can do when it comes to sewing it all together. That's that one, and yeah, it's um a lot, <laughs> a lot way off. But uh, yeah, I can always add. So let's unplug the iron first. So the next bit, holding the corners together and pin along the seam line. Then position a pin either side of the center pin 
in the centre of the square. Backstitch along the whole seam removing pins as you go. Iron the whole piece flat then open out with right side down. Press the seams to one side, trim any remaining thread to finish the patch. So. I need now to put these together. So, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, if you guys can see, I'm going to stitch along this seam. I'm going to iron it and then we'll finish off this video. So, back in a bit. Right, I'm back and I have done the top of the patch. So let's open it up and have a look. So that's the four patch and I need to iron it now. Try and iron it all flat. Up this seam round these ones, iron it all. That's done. Plug the iron. So that is the double four patch finished. So that is it for this video. And finally, issue two is complete. Um, I thought this issue two was going to be finishing off Peter Rabbit and then issue three was going to get into this double four patch. But I was wrong. Issue two was both. It was finishing off Peter Rabbit. So you've seen me finish off Peter Rabbit. It's all finished. And now I have got the first patchwork patch. So this is the double four patch square. And it's there, all finished, all done. Maybe not quite lined up and a bit, yeah. <laughs> a bit, um, yeah. So that is the first patchwork patch done. Like I said, I've done Peter Rabbit, which was the first character. And this is the first patchwork patch. So... I hope you liked this video guys and yeah the next one to start will be it says in here I think what was the next was it Jemima Jemima Puddle Duck will be the next video so that will be issue three coming very very soon and we'll start cutting out the uh bonderweb and all her outfit and yeah so i hope you liked this video guys and remember to come back for more keep an eye out for more peter rabbit uh patchwork quilt so yeah like i said i hope you like this video guys and remember in a world where you can be anything be kind bye guys <laughs>